Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Crypto Ginger here. I just wanted to quickly go over a couple of key articles I found very interesting when it comes to connecting some more bigger name players out there with companies that we are familiar with, such as Ripple and of course the R3 Consortium and IBM. And they're all being done through what's called the Hyperledger Fabric. And we'll get into that in just a second here. This article from Coindesk.com talks about how Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley have partnered together to create an IBM-powered blockchain called CLSNet. Now, of course, the uh, article talks a little bit more about the these partnerships and of course it talks about how CLS the company that's working with IBM to create the CLS net uh, their idea is to mitigate settlement risks for participating banks with a payment versus payment service in which both sides of the trades are completed at the same time so faster payment versus payment services there uh, also as well it states that uh, it is a new platform that aims to solve current issues in the Forex market such as a lack of standardization and automation so again a little bit more in the way of uh, development when it comes to hopefully uh, having some sort of additional uh, advancements for the Forex market there with the CLS net. Now, interesting enough here, the article also talks about how it was actually developed. It says that CLS and IBM developed CLS net on the Hyperledger Fabric blockchain. Now, I've talked about the Hyperledger Fabric, and of course, I've also talked about the Hyperledger Quilt, which is going to be connecting a major players out there all together in some form or fashion. Now, interesting enough, it does state that the CLS net again was developed on the Hyperledger Fabric blockchain with the help of companies such as Bank of America, Bank of China, Bank of Tokyo, Mitsubishi, Citibank, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan Chase, and Morgan Stanley. So big, big names on board to help with this particular project. We also know that some of these big names have definitely been in some form or fashion connected to Ripple as well. So uh, you're starting to see some links here. Uh, the second article I wanted to quickly go over here is one that just recently came out about how Amazon has launched a new service for building blockchains. Now, of course, this is interesting here because it states that uh, Wednesday it says Amazon Managed Blockchain Platform is a fully managed service that makes it easy to create and manage scalable blockchain networks. Users can build platforms using either Hyperledger Fabric or Ethereum, though the latter is not available yet. So, of course, now we have a connection between Amazon, their particular managed blockchain, and of course, the Hyperledger Fabric just as well. Now, I'm bringing all this up here because because uh, these particular names, these big companies here, uh, being connected in some form or fashion with the Hyperledger fabric, if we go to hyperledger.org and you look at its members list, you can easily see that we have some of the largest names here all connected in some form or fashion again when it comes to this particular uh, blockchain that's being developed. And of course, this is all going to lead into what would be considered the Hyperledger quilt. Again, I've talked about this in a previous video, how there's major connectors out there in relationship to the bigger players that we know of such as Ripple and again R3 Consortium. If we go down this particular list you can easily see you have Coil, you have Deloitte there. Those are companies def definitely related to uh, Ripple and of course we scroll down a little bit further you can see there's R3, there's also Ripple right there and of course if we scroll down just a little bit further you also see uh, it's also connected just as well to Swift. Now that's uh, just a small uh, part of the whole entire you know uh, orchestrated plan here when it comes to the Hyperledger fabric. I just wanted to slowly connect some more dots here when it comes to these big names and what they're doing when it comes to using this particular blockchain technology such as the Hyperledger fabric. So uh, I definitely find this all interesting here. If there's other types of companies out there that are on board and getting ready to release some sort of blockchain technology that I've missed, definitely even in the comment section. But again, on a grander scale here, we're seeing a large amount of connections taking place with these companies and the Hyperledger fabric. So, could we see some other additions happening with other companies out there? I would hope so. 2019 definitely uh, has lent itself now to being a, a year that we should be looking forward to when it comes to more developments for the blockchain technology and hopefully companies onboarding themselves with companies, uh, you know, Ripple and their particular products that they have to offer when it comes to XRapid and uh, making a use case out of XRP. I'm not connecting any of these companies with Ripple. I'm just stating that they are definitely on the same playing field. They're linked in some form or fashion, again, through that Hyperledger fabric. So uh, interesting information here, and hopefully we'll start seeing some additional developments in the near future. Outside of that, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And hey, if you enjoyed what you saw, please hit that like button. It definitely helps get this information out there to as many people as we possibly can. And also share this content out with everybody. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. This channel has been growing by leaps and bounds and I could not have done it without you guys. 
If you really want to help this channel grow, please donate to my Patreon page. Even a dollar a month would be amazing and would absolutely go right into my channel to make it more professional for you guys and allow me to create even more content. Thanks again for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day.